touched the brute's mind in there. I sensed his devotion to this Amon. Nerud's been trying to resurrect his master for millennia. It makes sense. The endless conflict between Protoss and Zerg, the hybrid, all part of a plan to bring Amon back. Unless we stop him. Yeah, I'm gonna grab all the achievements on a second playthrough. Uh, I'll probably just play individual missions after this one. Um, after I finish this this playthrough. But right now, I just want to get through the campaign. This is I like this. It's a good campaign. I wonder how Narut could hope to resurrect a being as powerful as Eman. I think the hybrid are key. They gather psionic energy. But where would they get enough to resurrect a dead god? You told me an ancient Zomaga artifact was used to make you human again. But all the power you wielded as the Queen of Blades, where did it go after your transformation? You mean there might have been hybrid nearby who gathered it? And used it to... Oh no. If Narud used the Zomaga artifact in that way, he may already have enough energy to resurrect Amon. We are sensing strange entities in the lab. You mean besides the hybrid and the evil shapeshifter? Protoss, my queen, in great numbers. Yes, I sense them now. Taldarim. They serve Amon willingly. They worship him. They worship a dead god. That makes them even more dangerous. The hybrid. Their essence is strong, but I cannot collect it. Naru created them. Do you think he will bring you more essence if you follow him? That one serves a master who will devour all essence. You're talking about Amon. I think he's dead. And I'm going to make sure he stays that way. If that one lives, all essence will be collected. Change will stop. I will fight. This thing in the lab, this Nerud, it's shielding itself from me, but I can still sense its power. Tell me of it. It's like nothing I faced before. But you destroyed the Ancient One. You captured the power of all Zeras. This is something born of the Void. Cold and empty. But so powerful it hurts. Mutilisk strain ready for augmentation. Located feral brood lords. Must reacquire essence. Can be spun into mutilisk strain. So I have to choose between brood lords and vipers. Great. Mutalists are highly mobile. Try to exploit enemy weak spots instead of attacking head-on. Dominion defense platform. Sigma Centauri. Feral broodlords nearby. Missile turrets designed to kill mutalisks. Stalemate without broodlords. Find the broodlords. We'll assimilate their essence and destroy the Dominion. Recover. 
recover essence. Assimilate their essence. Broodlords are indeed powerful, but Vipers are very useful units. Viper Infester? It's mean stuff. Broodlord launches Broodling. Assault ground targets from distance. Supplying Utilisks will protect Broodlords. Complementary skills. Now let's end this stalemate. Well, that's the thing, Clue. Broodlords may be useful, very useful, against ground units, just anything on the ground, but Vipers are also extremely useful against anything on the ground. You'll see in a minute what I mean. Discovered Jorium crystal contained within Jorium useful for experimentation enhances psionic potential must acquire completed research on primal essences new strain created Viper ready to assault Dominion Strategic asset abducts targets, pulls to its location, usable on ally or foe. Move across the river and pull our aberrations to the other side. Siege tanks detected. Use vipers. Pull into range of aberrations.
disabling cloud. Foes within cannot attack. Rip that bunker apart. Only their final defenses remain. Move in for the kill. Secured. Must prepare Mutalisk Morph. Returning to Evolution Pit. Mutalisk Morph ready for integration. Await decision. Broodlord Strain besieges ground units from long range, attacks spawn broodlings. Broodlord Strain almost lost, Corruptor Strain unable to be reconstituted, essence unavailable. Mutalisk base must suffice. Once morphed spawns broodlings, symbiotes able to launch broodlings long distance, siege ground base foes from air. Powerful weapon. Can morph into Viper, pulls units to new locations, and will be, enemies will be stunned for one second. Slows enemy ground units, prevents them from attacking, drains life from allied units to restore energy. Can attack air units. Viper adapted from essence taken on Xerus. Primal sequence is streamlined, redundant. Mutations removed. Stronger, fit for swarm, Viper strain abducts targets, emits disabling cloud, manipulates battlefield conditions to swarm's advantage. I'm going with the Viper. Disabling cloud is a lot like uh, the Defiler from StarCraft 1, and that's just way too important for Zerg to have. Way powerful.